What's up, people? It's your boy Jatwa, and I'm back again! Well, I was kind of going to leave the gun thing behind, but if you remember from my first clip in the first video... Oh... <sighs> <laughs> Well, that cannon did not work too well. <laughs> so, I wanted to come back to that cannon. I wanted to take off with the cannon. I don't know about maintain flight, but I at least want to take off just to prove that I can. So, I'll zoom in here. You'll see that I have several of these cannons here. And I'm hoping that this plane will stick together long enough for me to get it off the ground. Because these impacts are quite horrendous for this airplane to to kind of survive so hopefully this will work so uh, hang with me let's let's see what happens all right guns are hot oh okay so <laughs> that didn't work too well um hey we gotta blow ourselves apart less cannons I'll take note, less cannons. Be right back. All right, so we trimmed down the cannon count. We are now down to two cannons. Now, in case you're wondering which cannons these are supposed to be, these are from the BD Armory uh, mod for KSP, and these are the M102 howitzers, the radial howitzers. Now, these offer quite a bit of thrust, and it should easily be able to thrust this craft. Now, mind you, it's not the rapid fire like you would hope for. Since it doesn't have that rapid fire, I'm going to count on a lot of the thrust that it generates to kind of push me along my way. I can't fire him directly down for a VTOL because it'll blow me apart. So <laughs> we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. All right. So far, so good. Come on. Give me one more. Ooh. Ooh. We lost the wing. We lost the wing. <laughs> Well, that didn't work too well. Um, <laughs> you can't angle downwards and fire the cannons. It'll blow you apart. All right. Let's take that back and try it again. And we're going to try to stay as far back as possible once again. Try to, so we can at least get a visual here. Let me move that. Ooh, close. Oh, we're airborne. We're airborne. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, now we're more or less just gliding. <laughs> but it worked. It worked. Oh, that is very exciting. I did not think that that would work. <laughs> That is insane. We actually blew off one of our control surfaces, but that's okay. We are in the air. We are flying, and uh, this is fantastic. Now, I didn't think this would actually work, to say the truth, because, let's be honest, this cannon is really heavy, and, well, it, it's a howitzer. How are you really supposed to do this right But I am off the ground. I'm fairly excited. I need to get back and land this bird now. I don't even know how fast we're going. I just, we're really slow. Compared to the GAU-8, this is, I mean, it's so long between five, between shots that it's not as good as a platform for this. So keep that in mind if you do plan on destroying your base with a Howitzer cannon when you're flying. But it does work. A little, a little finesse. A lot of finesse. <laughs> And we might be able to turn this bird back around. As you can see, I did not even lower, I did not even lift up my wheels because I'm pretty sure that it, I was sure it was going to crash. All right. Nice and easy. I think we got it. Go ahead and switch our guns off so I don't hit it by mistake. <laughs> Alright, 
nice and level nice and easy this is a textbook touchdown there we go it's it's possible <laughs> Now, that was hard. Believe it or not, that was actually really hard. Uh, you go really slow and you have to really manage your cannons. Otherwise, you're going to blow yourself to many pieces. But it is possible with this cannon. So it is something that's going to go in my yes book. Now, I did in the last video say I was going to try a liquid-cooled version of the GAU-8. Now I want to try that. I have not tested that modification because I just went in there, looked at the config files, made a copy, made a slight tweak to uh, increase the, the heating and the cooling on it. So, well, I increased the heat capabilities. So it should take longer for it to heat up and it should cool down a lot faster. And that's what I called the liquid cooled version. But in reality, whatever. <laughs> we're going to give it a shot because we're just going to go for some absolute nonsense this time around. So stay put. Be right back. All right, so we are back here this time with the liquid cooled uh, GAU-8 cannons. And you can see here, there's a little blue streak in them. Just, just to say that they are the liquid cooled so I can tell them apart. Really easy to see. So we're just going to toggle on our SAS. And you can see here, unlike before how it would overheat really quickly. If you were to be able, if you found a way to actually cool the GAU-8 cannon and maintain the ability of your ship <laughs> to not shake itself apart, you could create a ship of sorts that would destroy anything behind it and pretty much have a lot of fantastic thrust. All right, so there was one last gun I wanted to try. So I am back here again with a new design. And this one, as you can see here, is a bit more streamlined and I use the I believe it's the M230 uh, let me see here the M230 chain gun turret this is also from BD Armory now I have a feeling that this one's gonna be a lot more maneuverable and a lot faster well not faster but a lot more maneuverable and streamlined than the previous so let's go ahead hit our SAS kick on our guns knock this out and let's see if we can do some acrobatics here All right, so there we go. There we go. That's nice. That's nice. It's right off the back. It's able to really fly extremely low under a controlled, unlike most of the other planes I make, uh, it's really flying extremely well controlled. So we're actually going to see about flying around, playing around here. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna happen. <laughs> but that proved me wrong. It proved me wrong. It is a beautiful flying machine. And I am very proud of this plane for doing what even I thought was impossible to happen for it. Now, if we could just stick this landing, that would be fantastic. Ooh, ooh. Uh, <laughs> we lost all of our control surfaces, but... We're stopped. <laughs> well, there you go. It is possible. And crazy airplanes can do crazy things. Brakes, please. So it is possible. It, it can fly just as well as your normal airplanes. In this instance, probably better than some of my other airplanes. But this is the little plane that could. This thing has proven to me a lot of things. A lot of designs that finally came together into a plane that's really maneuverable. And can really do a lot of fantastic things. Including that very close uh, underpass <laughs> that we just attempted and managed to complete somehow. So, if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join our happy family, drop me in the comment, let me know what you think, what you would want to see next, different ideas. I actually have some other games. I think I have, I'm going to try to get my Saints Row uh, Got Out of Hell 
video up and running here in the next few days. So hopefully stay tuned for that if you want to see my review of a pretty good game. Uh, but you, uh, I'll hold off my defense on that. But for now, I'm going to get on out of here. Share this out to your friends and I'm going to get out of here. This is your boy Jatois and I'm going to stop saying I'm going to get out of here because I keep saying I'm going to get out of here. And I'm just going to do that. Peace. We're doing it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We're doing it. We're flying. <laughs>